Hello there and welcome back to another hashtag Wellness Wednesday. I am Cheryl, CEO of Consultant Proficiency Resources and every Wednesday we're here to present some semblance of holistic approach to living and when we say holistic we're looking at what you do day in and day out. If you had an opportunity to be part of our March boot camp we introduced day three mental health where I had a distinct pleasure of presenting on really burnout but I provided the positive side of burnout which is a level of preventative living approaching 360 looking at your spiritual quotient emotional quotient and yeah you got it your physical quotient and part of that presentation included circle of wellness which consists of eight dimensions including spiritual emotional and physical we also had environmental social financial and what we did was pluck all of the eight dimensions into one of the three dimensions so we're still within research in episode one we dissected this further so if you did not see that episode please be sure to do so and today our focus is going to be on the first dimension, we're going to talk about the SQ. Now, the SQ was coined by psychologist Dana Zor. So that we don't confuse the audience, I want to say that when we advocate for holistic approach, your faith walk is at the core. So in this case, when we speak about SQ, spiritual quotient, we are talking about the faith-based man. And it's, the importance here is to keep your spiritual tank full and if your spiritual tank is full, then your spiritual health will be a more 360 to begin with. Your spiritual tank matters. Your spiritual health matters. Today's just to give you a few tips of what that looks like. So when we say 360, we're looking at your SQ and it's important to, when we say SQ, we say SD, filling your spiritual tank. It is faith-based. It is faith-driven. Make no mistakes about that. And the goal here is where do you gain your sustenance daily? Your sustenance come from your creator. So you have to consider your source, creator. I also call the architect of everything, but you want to tap into your creator. And what does that look like? That could be in the form of prayer, uh, meditation, fasting, it could be in a form of worship based on your prayer life. Whatever it is, if you think you can improve it, I suggest you do it. This should be increasing. And in terms of spending time in the Word, reading a good book, whatever you're doing, that should be increasing. And if you're reading the book, read more. And if you finish reading, then go to studying. Those are some quick tips in terms of if you're a man or woman of faith and you want to do better because you know better. In addition, this is for the person who wants to gain more traction on their faith walk. It begins with your source, being intentional. And it is a solo walk. It's a walk where you have to be intentional. You have to want to do better and know better. And going back to your sustenance, getting into that water, your sustenance, that source is what's going to give you the steps to move forward. The scripture tells us in Psalms 119, I believe um, 165, um, the word is a lamp to our feet. So there's your shade, light to our path. So this is our feet. When you consume the word, your word is a lamp. You're moving in a direction on a daily basis, following the light, not the darkness. And where there's light, things are attracted to the light. So in terms of business, if you're representing the light, then there's a level of attraction to your business that also enhances your team as well as your revenue. And again, your feet will be moved toward making right righteous decisions that will in the long term, even if there's 
some challenges short term in the long term will have better effects for your business so your feet the, the word is a lamp to your feet light to your path and again reading consumption is important but you definitely want to turn that reading into studying the next step i would like to consider when we consider what has been damaging our spiritual thing is the tongue in our boot camp in february during black history month i indicated that the tongue is very powerful and I asked the question, because the tongue deposits seeds, I asked, what's in your garden? What's in your garden? In your garden, do you have a lot of weed? Or are you able to grow a lot of flowers and healthy trees? What's in your garden? Which side are you on? Weeds or beauty? You ask yourself that question. Considering that your faith walk is like a journey and it's important to know just like you're taking a journey, you're gonna to go to the mechanics and do your maintenance as well as fill up your tank. Your spiritual tank on this journey needs to be always filled. This is what happens when you fill your spiritual tank. You have a lot of good things and you fill and you fill and you continue until it's run it over, right? Continue to do what you need to do. And your litmus test, you can gauge that character from 521 to 23 in terms of the fruits of the spirit. But this is your tank. It should be full and run it over. But what happens when you allow your tongue to run away? It bores hole in your tank and it causes leakage and when your tank causes leakage what ultimately happens is that once full tank has now dwindled to next to nothing and then the question you ask yourself is what's happening to me what's going on why do i feel the way i feel and there's a level of uneasiness as well. It's because you have bore holes in your tank, even though you're reading and consuming the word. So be mindful that your tongue just might be responsible for not just depositing negative seeds, but making holes in your tank. And all that water that you're receiving as sustenance is slowly seeping out. And this will not allow you to complete your journey. You're going to have to make many stops. So be mindful of that. Um, and this is pretty much in terms of some quick tips when we consider your spiritual quotient. The goal here is to tap into that day in and day out. And to summarize, we spoke about the importance of considering the creator, worshiping the creator, not the creation, understanding your source. And once you understand your source, you want to worship and pray. You want to consume the word. And when you consume the word, you're reading more. After you finish reading, you certainly want to study. We want to be mindful of the tongue. We know that the tongue deposits seeds. The question is, what's in your garden? And after that, considering it also bore holes. And if it's boring holes, all that great work and sustenance will certainly leak out. And if you have one big tank, your spiritual tank is now leaking. If your spiritual tank is leaking, it's not possible for you to ultimately have spiritual health. So it's important that you check that. And those are some quick tips for ensuring that your spiritual tank is full. Therefore, you have overall spiritual health. There's a lot of research that points to a man or woman of faith that could really help in terms of their mental and emotional well-being as well. We're going to get into that in our next session. Um, there's a free 30-minute virtual session available to you if you would like me to go over your results after your self-reflection, because we say self-reflection builds self-awareness. So self-reflect, and if you would like to use that one time, 30-minute assessment you're welcome to do so if not join us on the other side you could either call us or make an appointment for leadership one-on-one -on -one coaching as we continue the process 
but we are incorporating a healthy um, and therefore wealthy work environment when you as a leader become healthier in your mindset thinking as well as in your faith walk your team will also model your behavior and improve based on their actions you will then have a more positive and creative work environment and that indeed will give you that competitive advantage you always go back to having that competitive advantage when it comes to business and when it comes so be sure to take advantage of um this wonderful opportunity continue to do the work self-reflect and be sure to leave your comments we'd love to hear from you or you could simply send us an email all of our contact is available and if you have not yet hit that subscribe button or like please be sure to do so we thank you for joining us on another healthy quote wealthy wednesday and we pray to see you soon thank you for joining us